Amazon and Alibaba are the two largest e-commerce companies in the world. And in this Saturday stock battle, we're going to do a direct comparison between these two stocks to determine which one we like more, which company's got the best financials, and which one we think is going to outperform over the next five to 10 years. These are some of the largest companies in the world, very strong financial statements, and these are both e-commerce brands that are expanding at massive rates. And in this video, we're going to go over some key financial metrics of each company, compare them 1v1 to determine which one we believe is the better stock right now. Both of these companies are operate in very different markets. We have more of a Chinese-based company versus a traditional American and international brand. But overall, these are two e-commerce giants that are very well diversified in the entire technology sector, and they are expanding at massive rates. So like we do every single Saturday, we're going to do a stock battle. We're going to take a look at Amazon and Alibaba, compare them and determine which one wins. And as we do every single day, everyone, we always post videos about the stock market. I am the Gen Z investor and every single day we go over different stocks you can buy, overall stock market performance or any other big stock market news and headlines. And in today's Saturday stock battle, it's Amazon versus Alibaba. If you have any two companies that you want to see in a stock battle, comment them down below and we'll do them next week. So Amazon and Alibaba are two growth companies that have seen rapid share price growth over the past five years. On the 12 month chart, Amazon is up 62% compared to Alibaba, which is up 51%. So both have seen rapid growth during this last 12 months. And of course, during this pandemic, when everyone was forced to stay home and the people began to order more products online, these two companies have extremely benefited. If we take a look at a longer term perspective, over the past five years, Amazon has returned 446% share price growth, and they're currently being traded just shy of $3,000. If we take a look at Alibaba, over the past five years, they have returned a massive 314% total return. So both of these companies have seen insane growth over the past five years, grossly outperforming their respective markets, and these companies continue to dominate in that e-commerce space. So what we're going to do in this video is go through this stock battle, determine which one we believe is the better buy, go through some key financial metrics, and just do a direct comparison between these two growth stocks. The first stock we always take a, take a quick consideration is, is the market cap. Both of these companies are extremely large. Amazon does win with the higher market cap of $1.48 trillion versus Alibaba's $737 billion. So Amazon has almost a double size market cap over Alibaba, but overall these companies are both extremely large and in the top 20 largest companies on the planet. If we take a look at revenue brought in, in the past 12 months, Amazon has brought in $321 billion of total revenue, of course outpacing Alibaba's $77.6 billion. So of course, Amazon is the much larger company, so it's to be expected that they bring in higher revenues. Next is profit. So Amazon brings in a higher top line revenue, but Alibaba is actually more profitable. In the past 12 months, Alibaba's brought in $24.8 billion of net income or profit compared to Amazon, which has only brought in $13.2 billion. So although Amazon has brought in about three to four times as much revenue, Alibaba is much more profitable. And that of course ties into profit margin, which is the next battle. Amazon's profit margin over the past 12 months is around 4.1% compared to Alibaba's rounded to 32% profit margin over the past year. So to start off this battle, you can see here that Amazon is the larger company. They bring in more revenue, but Alibaba actually earns higher net income and they have higher profit margins over the past 12 months. So we're going to go over a couple different metrics. So you can see here that we begin with some income statement balances. Then we're going to take a look at, of course, some income and actually balance sheet metrics as well to give a kind of clear picture of the overall financial position of each company. So right now to start off the battle, it's a 2-2 tie. Moving on to revenue growth. So it's beautiful to see that Amazon has higher revenue right now, but which company is actually growing revenue at a faster rate? And that goes to Alibaba. Three-year revenue growth rate at 47.4%, which is absolutely incredible, compared to Amazon at $27.4 billion. 
Both of these companies are growing revenue at a tremendous rate. Although Alibaba wins, Amazon's growth rate in revenue is still absolutely insane. And that is incredible to see. And this is actually a company where I believe that growth rate is somewhat sustainable over the next three to five years. If we take a look at a forward PE, so this is not the trailing 12 months. This is a forward PE from Seeking Alpha. And that puts in Alibaba at 29 compared to Amazon at 93. So Alibaba wins this battle with the lower PE ratio, which represents a cheaper fight price comparative to the other if you were to buy into the company right now. So Amazon is being traded at a high PE at this current moment when compared to their direct competitor. But overall, still both companies so far, beautiful revenue growth, beautiful profit margins from Alibaba, and overall these companies are two beasts that are dominating their respective industry. If we take a look at earnings growth, so we saw that Alibaba is growing top line at the faster rate, but if we take a look at bottom line and earnings, Amazon's earnings growth over the past three years has been absolutely incredible. They saw a rapid jump in earnings from 2017 to 2018, and that has helped bolster this massive 88.7% three-year average earnings growth compared to Alibaba's 48%. So if we take a look at this, these numbers are astronomical. Amazon three-year average earnings growth is at 88% average annual, which is incredible to even think about. If you compare that to Alibaba's 48%, of course you can see Amazon destroyed them, but 48% earnings growth on average over the past three years is still incredible to even think of. So both companies have been dominating the world. <laughs> this e-commerce sector has been on fire and both of them have been growing earnings at a beautiful rate. When, it, when evaluating these earnings growth numbers, you can see these double digit massive earnings growth. If you were to compare them to kind of a slow growth cash cow company like a Coca-Cola who sees earnings growth grow like one to 2% per year, and then you compare it to a company like this, it's no comparison. As of right now, these companies are high flying, continue to grow extremely fast, and compared to one another, these numbers are beautiful to look at. Next is the price to sales ratio. So the lower price to sales ratio in this battle wins. It just represents kind of a cheaper price to buy in relative to the company shares and the amount of revenue per share. So if we take a look, Amazon's current price to share ratio is at 4.57 compared to Alibaba's 9.31. So Amazon wins this battle, and as you can see right now, we have a 4-4 tie after the first eight comparisons. So these two companies are very very close together. Of course, we know they are two leading direct competitors, but with regard to their stock battle and the actual fundamentals, very close and very nice performance from both of these stocks. Moving on, the next battle to take a quick comparison of is return on equity. So these companies do not pay a dividend. These companies are purely growth stocks right now, so we want to see how they're doing with regard to their return on equity, their return on investment. We want to use those to help gauge how we believe the company is going to perform and how we believe the share price is going to perform moving forward. So we want to see a high return on equity, and both of these companies do just that. Amazon's return on equity is 20.8% versus Alibaba's 21.5%. So they are both very similar, less than a 1% variance between these two companies, but Alibaba does win this battle with the higher return on equity. The next battle is with regard to return on investment. Another metric where we want to see a higher number to see how, like how much return and how much cash flow and overall growth we are seeing from these companies with regard to how they're using their investments. So Amazon has brought in a 14.6% return on investment versus Alibaba, which has a current 18.1% return on investment. So overall, both companies are doing a great job with ROE and ROI, but Alibaba has been slightly outpacing Amazon as of late. So right now, Alibaba has a 6-4 lead in this stock battle over Amazon. Now we're going to take a look at the balance sheet to get a quick idea of how their balance sheet's current financial position is. So the current ratio is, of course, the total current assets of a company available for liquidation in the next 12 months compared to their short-term liabilities, which are liabilities due within the next year as well. So this ratio we like to see above 1.5 to 2, and both of these companies have a solid current ratio above 1, which I believe to be the bare minimum. And you can see here Amazon's current ratio of 1.18 compared to Alibaba's at 1.98. So Alibaba has the higher current ratio. They currently have somewhat of a stronger financial position over the short term 
compared to Amazon. But overall, I believe both of these companies are completely safe over the short term. Nothing too worrying with regard to their short term debt on the balance sheet right now. The final metric we take into consideration is share equity. So this is a pure dollar amount. Alibaba, although it is the much smaller company at about half the market cap of Amazon, they actually have higher equity on their balance sheet. They have total equity of $130 billion compared to Amazon, which only has $73.4 billion of equity on their balance sheet. So Alibaba wins this battle once again, and that is kind of the conclusion. We go over a bunch of different financial metrics of each company and just do a direct comparison one-on-one. In these Saturday stock battles, we like to compare two companies in the same respective industry just so we can gauge kind of market competition and which company as of right now may have stronger fundamentals. So Amazon and Alibaba was an extremely close battle early on, and you'll see we actually had a 4-4 tie halfway through, but then Alibaba came with a clean sweep in the end, winning this battle 8-4. So both of these companies have seen beautiful growth. These companies are on fire. That does not mean Alibaba may be the better stock. It might be not the better company over Amazon. This battle is just to give you a quick comparison of some key facts of both companies. But overall, with how the world is today, with all the free trading platforms out there, with zero commission trades and the ability to use fractional shares, I believe if you want to get into the e-commerce sector, I don't think it would hurt you to actually own both. Although these companies somewhat do the same thing, they of course have different brands under their umbrella that are in different sectors of the market, and they actually operate in different countries around the world. So I believe both these companies are solid companies overall. They have great financial metrics. I believe both of them are going to be here for a long period of time. And when evaluating these growth stocks is a quick little idea is when you're thinking about buying is, do you believe this company is going to be larger five years from now than where it is today? That's kind of what you have to ask yourself. Do you believe companies like Amazon and Alibaba are going to expand their operations, continue to try to grow and like build a bigger business than where they are today? If you can sit there today and make that decision on your own, that yes, I believe that Amazon and Alibaba are going to be bigger five years from now, then these may be two companies you want to do some further research into and maybe consider buying. So that was the stock battle this Saturday between Amazon and Alibaba. Alibaba won this battle, but I believe both companies are extremely solid. And for me personally, if I were to buy a growth stock, these are two that I would definitely keep into consideration and do a full in-depth analysis on. So thank you for watching everyone. I'm the Gen Z Investor and I will see you in tomorrow's video.